Good morning and thank you for joining me for Saturday morning prayer. My name's Janet Killen. The Anglican Church of Newcastle ministers and worships on the unceded land of the Awabakal, Baripi, Darkanyung, Garigal, the Gawigal, Kamilaroi, Waramai and Wanarua peoples. I pay my respect to Elders past, present and emerging and stand in solidarity with the call of the Statement of the Heart for Treaty, Voice and Truth. Saturday morning prayer starts on page 419 in the prayer book. This morning the appointed psalm is Psalm 19, which is on page 239, and we read from the first letter of John, chapter 3, verses 11 to 24. Let us pray. God has shone in to our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Glory to God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. The opening canticle, a song of creation. Bless the Lord, all created things, who is worthy to be praised and exalted forever. Bless the Lord, all people of the earth, who is worthy to be praised and exalted forever. O people of God, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, you priests of the Lord. Bless the Lord, you servants of the Lord, who is worthy to be praised and exalted forever. Bless the Lord, all you of upright spirit. Bless the Lord, you that are holy and humble in heart. Bless the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, who is worthy to be praised and exalted forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 119, which begins on page 239. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims his handiwork. One day tells it to another, and night to night communicates knowledge. There is no speech or language, nor are their voices heard. Yet their sound has gone out through the world, and their words to the ends of the earth. There he has pitched a tent for the sun, which comes out as a bridegroom from his chamber, and rejoices like a strong man to run his course. Its rising is at one end of the heavens, and its circuit to their farthest bound, and nothing is hidden from its heat. The law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. The command of the Lord is true, and makes wise the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right, and rejoice the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, and gives light to the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, and endures forever. The judgments of the Lord are unchanging and righteous every one. More to be desired are they than gold, even much fine gold, sweeter also than honey, than the honey that drips from the comb. Moreover, by them is your servant taught, and in keeping them there is great reward. Who can know their own unwitting sins? O oh, cleanse me from my secret faults. Keep your servant also from presumptuous sins, lest they get the mastery over me. So I shall be clean and innocent of great offence. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O oh Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. Create God, whose praise and power are proclaimed by the whole creation. Receive our morning prayers, we pray, and renew us in your service. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A 
reading from the first letter of John, chapter 3, beginning at verse 11. For this is the message you have heard from the beginning, that we should love one another. We must not be like Cain, who was from the evil one, and murdered his brother. And why did he murder him? Because his own deeds were evil and his brother's righteous. Do not be astonished, brothers and sisters, that the world hates you. We know that we have passed from death to life because we love one another. Whoever does not love abides in death. All who hate a brother or sister are murderers, and you know that murderers do not have eternal life abiding in them. We know love by this, that he laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for one another. How does God's love abide in anyone who has the world's goods and sees a brother or sister in need and yet refuses help? Little children, let us love, not in word or speech, but in truth and action. And by this we will know that we are from the truth and will reassure our hearts before him whenever our hearts condemn us. For God is greater than our hearts and he knows everything. Beloved, if our hearts do not condemn us, we have boldness before God and we receive from him whatever we ask because we obey his commandments and do what pleases him. And this is his commandment, that we should believe in the name of his Son, Jesus Christ, and love one another, just as he has commanded us. All who obey his commandments abide in him, and he abides in them. And by this we know that he abides in us, by the Spirit that he has given us. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. The Canticle, A Song of Redemption Christ is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For in him all things were created, in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible. All things were created through him and for him. He is before all things and in him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead. For it pleased God that in him all fullness should dwell, and through him all things be reconciled to himself. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The Collect. Lord of all power and might, the author and giver of all good things, graft in our hearts the love of your name, increase in us true religion, nourish us with all goodness, and of your great mercy keep us in the same. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray for the world and for the church. Lord, we pray for your people of every land. We pray for those in countries torn by war and conflict. For those who continue to suffer the effects of past wars. And for all aid and relief workers. Lord, do not let us forget those of this and other lands who have paid with their lives the shocking cost of war and strengthen us, that we may be ready to make the sacrifices required for peace. 
Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for your church and for all who follow you. In particular, in the Anglican cycle of prayer today, we pray for our bishops, Bishop Peter, Bishop Charlie and Bishop Sonia and their families, for the Family and Community Services Ministry, and in the wider church, we pray for the Anglican Church of Burundi, the Anglican Church of the Southern Cone of America. In the National Church, we pray for the Diocese of Brisbane. We pray too for key ministries, for the parish family of Kincumber, for Lakes Anglican Grammar School for their teachers, their chaplain, their students, support staff, and for all the families. We pray too for our ministry this day. Lord, we pray for all leaders of churches, for those who are pastors to your people, for all who serve you in places of loneliness and hardship. Help us to work for the time when all your followers will be able to eat together at the table you prepare for us and together proclaim your love to the world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of healing and consolation, we pray for all those you entrust to our care. We pray for our families and our friends. We pray for those who must depend on others for their welfare and for those with constant responsibility of care for others. Lord, help us to make a community where all are known by name, where all know the experience of being accepted and valued as individuals. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for all in need of your comfort and balm. We pray for all who are lost, lonely or confused for the sick and for the dying, for all who provide medical care, for social workers and pastoral care workers. We pray for healing in body, mind and spirit for those we now name in the silence of our hearts. Lord, help us to bring consolation to all who suffer and the assurance that in sorrow and in pain you will not abandon them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of eternity, we remember all who are in your care, especially those close to us. We give thanks for the courage and selflessness of those who in peace or in war have given their lives that others might live. May we, like them, offer our lives in love for others. For those who will die this day, especially those who have not known love or will die violently, we pray rest eternal, grant unto them, good Lord and let light perpetual shine upon them. Lord and Heavenly Father, you have brought us safely to this new day. Keep us by your mighty power, protect us from sin, guard us from every kind of danger, and in all we do this day direct us in the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus.
Amen. Thank you for joining me for prayer this morning.